Uh, Joe P says, I captured a proud thought today, but where did it come from? From the enemy. There's always three voices in your head. There's you, the white hats, and the black hats. The good guys and the bad guys. And uh, the bad guys uh, are the ones saying, you're a failure, you're never going to amount to anything, or you're the best singer here, or you should punch that guy in the nose, or you should steal from work, or you should rob a bank, or uh, you're not going to be able to get through the day without a cigarette and uh, watch the porn or whatever. Uh, they're always trying to kill, steal, and destroy. And it's always the good guys that are saying, uh, remember last time when you succeeded at this, everything's going to be okay. I got it under control. God knows what he's doing. Rest, uh, have peace, um, or whatever. And uh, you are not nearly as much in your head as you think you are. If you really got all the other voices to shut up, I don't think you're that complicated. I used to have racing thoughts all the time. I used to have, I remember freshman year in college, dating this girl, and we're sitting in the lobby of the girls' dorm because the you couldn't go up in their room. And so several freshman couples are just sitting around hanging out. And she says, what are you thinking? And I'm like, really? She's like, yeah. Because I was being quiet because everybody else was talking. <clears throat> and I said, well, in the last 60 seconds, I was trying to figure out how that girl can walk on those five-inch heels. I was doing my math homework. I was balancing my bank account. I was thinking about this and that report that's due and like 10 other things. And I just run down a list of like the 25 things that have been in my head in the last 60 seconds. And she's like, I'm never going to ask you that anymore. I'm like, that'd be great. I'd appreciate that. Well, when I started taking every thought captive and bring it into obedience with Christ, like he told me, turns out a whole bunch of them aren't me. A whole bunch of them are hypothetical, nonsense, time-wasting. Next time I'm on Dr. Phil, I'm going to say this, or I'm going to say, or, you know, what would have been a great joke is if I'd have told this in that circumstance. And really, it don't matter. I'm not going to go be back in that circumstance. I'm not going to get another chance. It's just time-wasting nonsense that demons put in there to keep me from reading the Bible, to keep me from thinking about God. Uh, you really, really ought to read the screw tape letters. Or, or listen to John Cleese uh, do the audio book uh, online or whatever. It's C.S. Lewis uh, wrote a little book about two demons talking to each other about how to torture people. And uh, it ought to be required reading for every Christian everywhere. 